<laughs> okay, so how it's gonna work is we'll, you know, make some type of makeshift manifold that these all connect to, and then we'll step up to like a dash six, so it won't restrict flow or anything. We'll go from the dash six to the manifold, and then you know we'll go hot, you know, hot manifold, cold manifold. We're not gonna go from one to another. Cause I don't. What's gonna happen is if we if we plumb them in series, like the temperature differences between the batteries is gonna be all weird. So we're much better off just having a, a just like we would with the block, an inlet and an outlet. The probably the big choke point is gonna be the lines that go from the radiator to the manifolds, right? That'll be the biggest determinant of how well it cools. I think. Um, what are you trying to figure out? Um. Most Running the cooling lines. Well, you don't want to put them like hanging out of the bottom of the car. That was my idea. Great lights, mine's need to like. <laughs> yeah, you can't take my idea. What are you running them above the battery box or? There's not going to be room back behind those ones for a manifold, is there? Nope. Shit. Having the, although it is tight, there is space in the back to just drop straight down through the pan and then get to where it needs to go. But the the issue isn't really being able to wrap them. It's how to get them all connected in a way that is nice. You can work on it. It'll look good. It'll be sound. So you're talking about the two that are going to the radiator? No, I'm talking about the ones that are in the boxes here. So I'll have like oh. three inlets, like boom, boom, boom. And then that you know, the one single that will go from this to the manifold. So I'm saying you think that that one should be larger than the three individuals? I don't think so. No? Okay. I'm thinking of space as well. You know what I mean? Eight's a lot bigger. I want all the hoses to be uniform, so I'm trying to find a way to fit the manifolds and then also have everything route so it'll come out. It's tight though, I only have three inches, and the manifold's going to take one and a half, and the center point of the mounting block is three quarter, so that's going to set me out. This fitting has to sit out three quarter away from the wall minimum mm. and then it's like i also have to make a bend. That bend to go up into here so i thought a 90 would be the the trick and then offset manifolds and then i'd have a gap in the middle and then the outputs would come the bottom down we're trying to make all the connections inside of here so it's kind of concealed and it's hidden yeah that makes sense yeah and then we just have you know, you'll have two come out of here and then two come out of here and those will run to the the main the large manifolds It'll be interesting to see if it works because ideally you don't want this many connections. Uh, the high voltage cables come down through, come into this box here, come into our little hiding pocket, and, uh, here. Mm -hmm. and then it's going to hook to these batteries, and then out of those batteries, either up or across, and then finally going to the top. I think I had it going here and then up. And finishing here because I was gonna put the box and all that stuff on this side, so we just come straight out and go the distribution bar and then to each controller. So, as and the only thing I could think of is space, was I thought we might make that like hidden wall to run our whatever dash six dash eight main lines inside of the trans tunnel. The, uh, up inside there? Yeah, like, I, mean, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, like just big enough. And then um, it would just, basically all that stuff would just sit up inside there. I might even be able to, um, that was the only place that I could see that, because you can't, like, you really can't get anything like in this area here. It's, I tried before on both sides. So 
besides coming into the car and then going under the carpet or like, I don't know. The radiator's only got one going out, one going in. So you'll have, um, we're basically going to have like a hot and cold manifold. So we'll run out of the radiator into the cold manifold. So the cold manifold distributes all the cold side inputs or of each unit. And then same thing of all the hot side to the hot manifold and then back to the radiator. So going from basically this point forward, minus what we decide what to do for this front one, it's just going to be those two lines and then they're going to meet with the radiator. Or, well, one side will obviously have to go to the pump and then to the radiator, but... Mm -hmm. um, you can tell me to just fuck off, by the way, after asking the question. Why... Fuck off. <laughs> Why? Too soon or what? <laughs> mm -hmm. Why are you just um, determining this now? Is it because you didn't know the spaces that you were dealing with, like down to the no? It's know, just I've, I've, detail. I've already thought about this stuff in advance. I'm just this is I'm coming to the point where I've found a solution that I think works, and then Bodhi's just reviewing it and then trying to use. You know, I'm his, his gonna to, try and make it look nice. He's trying to fine tune it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you don't see it all. Gotcha. Trying to make it disappear. Well, yeah, but he's really good at that stuff. So we need ten of them. Oh, hot and cold. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean that's fine. And then, you need, then you that's, need that's... actually you need two more that they both go into before they feed the radiator. So you'll have twelve. Yeah, that's those are already here. Oh, those are those ones right there. Right. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, then let's just get more of those. Smaller. Smaller. That'll fit down in here. And then these ones we're gonna do out of copper. So how do you how do you envision that happening? It'll make it nice bins, copper, bitching little coils wherever we go in, in here to there, and then like that. You know what I mean? Like a coil here, maybe a coil back here, just a tight little coil. Then you'll have we'll route these really nice. The battery cable it'll, it'll look bitching, it'll look good. Is that purely for aesthetics, or is that also partially because you want that much? Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's I mean, it's, it's functional too. Yeah. But I guess my question is, because uh, the coils, obviously, if they weren't coils, would be that's extra length. Is that necessary for that? Uh, the little length, coils will help it keep a little cooler. Okay. So both yeah. function and aesthetic. gets more air. Gotcha. Better for vibration. Yep. Better vibration. Better vibration. Better vibration. Better vibration. Better vibration. Better vibration. Cool. I'm gonna cut out this panel too, so we. I'm gonna make it come off and on. I'm gonna cut this out to where it bolts, screws on and off, and then that other cover goes on, so that we have more room to put our hands down there. Just on this one. Well, I mean, I, I can get my hands down in here if I need to. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it'll scoot over. I figured we'd scoot it over, hook those up, drop those, how whatever length you got or wherever they're going. Those are going to go up to this one, right? Yeah, we'll have a pair go from here to here. And then from there, out. Out. And then, OK, yeah, that's cool. That's the way I figured that would work. So we can scoot it over. You can hook those up, run them up through there, hook them to that battery. And then we can push back over, hook up these manifolds, and then put that little cover back on and boom. So this will come out, that'll come out, and this will come out if you ever need to work on it. Okay? Roger? Roger, Roger. Okay. <laughs>